Hello and welcome to the short little video on photosystems. A photosystem is a protein complex, a group of two or more proteins that is essential for the photochemistry of photosynthesis. In particular, it carries out the absorption of light photons and the transfer of electrons. The photosystems are found in the thylakoid membrane of the chloroplasts in plants and algae and in the cell membrane of photosynthetic bacteria. I'm going to show you how photosystems 1 and 2 work. Here we have a thylakoid membrane, photosystem 2 at the bottom and photosystem 1 at the top. The process begins when a photon hits photosystem 2 where it is absorbed by the light harvesting complexes. It bounces from one of these to another until it hits P680 at the end. P680 absorbs light at 680 nanometers, which is basically red light. And to do this, it needs an electron which it gets from the water molecule which is split into oxygen and hydrogen. The one electron moves to P680 where it is now together with the photon. The photon excites the electron and it moves up in energy states to the electron acceptor, also called reaction center, on the left there. After it has moved up in energy states, it then moves down the electron transportation chain through these proteins to photosystem 1. The first protein on its way is called plastoquinone. Right after, we have the cytochrome complex responsible for getting the electron from photosystem 2 to photosystem 1. And lastly, it goes to plastocyanin. The electron energy state lowers with every protein that it reaches, and the energy that is lost is absorbed by ATP, which is a very important part of photosynthesis. Now that the electron has reached photosystem 1, once again a photon from for example the sun is absorbed by and bounces through the light harvesting complexes and this time it ends up in the P700. P700, as you might have already guessed, absorbs light at 700 nanometers, which is far red light. Now once again, the electron moves up in energy states as it is excited by the photon and moves to the electron absorber where it then starts going down the second electron transportation chain into a protein called ferredoxin. From there, an external NAD plus reductase accompanied by a hydrogen molecule takes in the one electron, but it requires another to be complete. Now, essentially, the process just repeats, and at the end another electron comes out to complete NAD plus reductase, making it become NADPH. Lastly, NADPH and ATP produce a sugar molecule, which then makes a glucose molecule. And there you have it. Those are photosystems 1 and 2 for you right there.